<clears throat> I will follow him, follow him into the storm. It's not a norm to see a unicorn dressed in a uniform. It's urgent. A message coming from above. You're not of this world. You're just in it. So you're different. Set apart to be the part that no one is waiting for. It's deliberate. <laughs> You're currently flowing in a current with illiterate innocence. Oops, I mean ignorance. Okay, let's think about why you're here. It's not for you to fit in. You came from heaven to earth to see how many souls you can bring in. So point the glory back to Jesus because right now you're spiritually conjoined with the wrong twin. You're a reflection of Christ. This didn't just happen. It's always been. So get the sheep together and lock in. You keep looking for breakthroughs, but your heart is nothing but a trash bin. Yo, you can't put new wine in old wine skins. <laughs> okay. Let's jump to the next before this gets way too complex. Men and women of God, get over your replicated flex because the church is his precious bride, not your religious project. You forcefully demand respect while you manipulate subjects that disconnect from the spiritual text. <laughs> you no longer teach about crisis subjects, but you've self-promoted into a ministry of attempting to expose the true men and women of God, and you call them rejects. Listen, read Romans 9, 14 through 16, since you're so philosophically learned of the text. I warn you this now. Ask the Lord for forgiveness and repent because Adam messed up once and he began to labor. And you, your struggle is going to be so rough that you won't even have a label. So stop trying to destroy your brother like Cain and Abel, killing their dream and playing a victim while singing, God is able. Stop. This message is not for the Psalm 23s that are already stable, but this is for the ones that are waiting in their presence next to the table. <laughs> if you get it, you got it. And if you don't, you won't. God bless.